Okay, what is up? So, we just got done showing you guys a video on how to do concrete roads with acrylic paints on foam. That was this tutorial. Done with that one. We're going to show you now how to do some asphalt roads. So, we, all we need for this is we're going to show you how to do it using AK Terrain's Asphalt. It's an acrylic based um, diorama medium. We're going to need a cup of water. Don't worry if it's dirty. It's going to get dirty anyways. Some spatulas, little plastic spatulas, and a paintbrush. The thing that we did beforehand was we painted our green insulation foam for this sample with um, some Art Mines chalk paint. We got cocoon color. That's our base. So that way when we do some other stuff around here later for another video, you won't see the green insulation showing through. The other thing we did was we glued down, we cut a piece of um, like craft foam. You can pick it up at Michael's. It's like, um, you know, thin craft foam. Uh, they saw an eight and a half by 11 sheets, but we cut that down to fit on where we want our road. This will actually be the road and we're gonna cover it with our asphalt solution. Um, but we just glued it to the surface. So to get started, you will need your AK asphalt <clears throat> and your paintbrush. This stuff is awesome to use, and it goes on pretty quick. So, what we do is apply it with um, your paintbrush. And you, and you can be pretty liberal with it at this point, because we're going to, um, we are going to smooth it out with the, uh, the spatula. So, I'm going to do this, and I'll speed it up for you guys. So you don't have to see it all. The one thing I want to do real quick before I get too far is take some painter's tape because I am sloppy and cover where I don't want the asphalt to go. Sorry guys. I just want to do that step real quick because I don't want to get asphalt on the rest of the diorama. Okay. All right, painter's tape is down. Back to this. <clears throat> so, like I said, you can apply this stuff on pretty uh, blotchy. Doesn't on it for from what I've done with it, from what I've experimented with it. Um, doesn't need to be done in any particular manner. Just got to get it on. So we'll speed it up again. Okay, before I get this all the way down to the end, I want to show you um, how far this covering this just that little bit will go. So it's okay to have your spatula be a little wet from the water. You actually need that. So it makes it spreading this stuff a lot easier. So like you get your flat spatula and you just start working this onto your area that you're work that you're modeling like you're putting icing on a cake. And if it gets thin, don't worry. I will, um, you can always add a little bit extra. But it goes on super easy. You want to make sure, oh, we went over the edge a little bit, that's okay. This is just a demo section. All right, so we're just going to spread this stuff nice and... You don't have to cake it on thick. I know I said earlier you can go liberal by when applying it, but you also have to make sure that you're aware that this stuff spreads very well. <clears throat> the one thing I did do is I'm thankful that I put down the painter's tape. You might not be... You might not have that luxury. Uh, you might need to be a little more neat with it going forward. Uh, so, like I said, for this demo 
we just put down a little painter's tape because we had the luxury of it. And we didn't apply it very hard because we don't want it to rip up our paint when we pull it off. So real quick, there are a couple thin sections. So I'm just going to blot a little extra on. Okay. And then we're going to smooth these little thin sections out. Then I want to show you something. All right, so when you look at it now, you can see that there's like ridges, right? Right here is a big old blob, a blob, couple other blobs. What we'll do is get this excess off the side. We can clean up the side later. Um, that's something you can always work on. Not worry about the sides. All right, so for the top, what you can do is Get a little bit of water on your spatula and get it on the uh, top of this medium. And yeah, it looks a little funny, but it actually helps you smooth it out much better. And that's the key to use a spatula I found that is wide enough to get a large pass across your surface. Because if you use a smaller, thinner spatula like this, you're going to leave lines and they're only going to go halfway across your work area. So that's pretty smooth. We'll do one more, one more pass here. Pretty happy with that. All right. So we'll leave this sit and we will let it dry. It takes a, takes a little while to dry. In the meantime, I can pull up this tape <clears throat> don't need that on there and we will later on put some scenery on the sides we'll put scenery over here on another video so we'll let this dry and um, we'll come back and I'll show you what to do with the road after it's been applied and show you what it looks like Okay, luckily for you guys, I have a piece that I already worked on. So this is the sample piece that I uh, did a few hours before I did the wet one that's back over here that's currently drying. Um, this is the cured piece. You can see it has an awesome asphalt look to it when you hold it up here. I mean, the surface of it looks just like a real road. It's, it's crazy. So once it's dry, it looks awesome. This is something that we did as a test on the side. These are just some other AK products. We'll talk about them in another video. But this AK asphalt stuff is awesome. It's not too expensive, um, but even for what you pay for it, you get a giant jar of this stuff. And it lasts. You can do a lot of roads with it, a lot of different dioramas or whatever you're working on. Um, it just lasts for a long time. So that's how we do asphalt roads. Later, we'll put some yellow paint down the center. We'll do another video about painting roads on another whole other episode. But if you're going to do asphalt, I recommend just picking up a product like this. Um, we'll put a link in the description and just checking it out on your own. It works awesome. You can weather this stuff. They have a whole line of products also that you can use to weather the surface of this, which we'll get into in some other videos. But for now, that's what we got. Here it is wet. It's kind of scary and shiny looking, but don't worry. It looks stellar when it finishes. So, awesome. If you guys enjoy our content and you want to see more cool videos like this, you can hit up the Patreon link in the bottom of our description here um, and join our Patreon page and get some exclusive episodes to our podcast, which we put a podcast out every week where we talk about products like this and some techniques that we're working on as well um, with some fine scale modeling. So, Awesome. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.